So, um, can you just tell us your name and the year that you attended Susquehanna? Certainly. My name is Jennifer L. Wingard. I attended Susquehanna from 1989 to 1993. My maiden name was Hendrix. All right. Uh, so what have you brought to our harvest today? Okay. What I brought was a Susquehanna University license plate topper that has the Crusader logo behind the name of the university. And do you know what year that's from? How old it is? I received it as a gift when I attended Susquehanna. My sister actually picked it up at a public auction. We are estimating based on the logo's characters that it's probably 1960s, but I don't know the actual uh, date of it. Um, and unfortunately nowadays because the area where license plates are on vehicles are normally indented, mm -hmm. you really can't use them anymore. Right, Kevin. There's no, doesn't stick up right. If you try to use it, it sticks out. Uh, Funny, so that's really cool. But we estimate probably 60s. And you got it as a gift, you said? I did get receive it as a gift. I received um, many items as gifts when you start attending a university. I'll hear you. I have a blanket, an afghan. I have uh, cats meow village pieces, that type thing. But yes, it was a gift. My sister purchased it at a public auction. So why did you decide to bring this today? Well, I thought it was really neat because it is the Kellers of the University plus also an older crusader in the background. When I attended Susquehanna, the crusader was kind of caricaturized. He looked like a little cartoon character mm -hmm. with a shield, and that was about it. Um, this is very... Uh, crusade era looking crusader on there yes. he's not characterized <laughs> right so uh i'm sorry what was your major when you were here i am an accounting major okay um how was that wonderful um i actually went through in three and a half years i took my senior fall semester off um obviously in 1989 to 1993 things were a little bit different as far as what you needed um no go program back then. <laughs> but I took off the fall semester of my senior year and graduated in three and a half years. Um, and probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. Um, still keep in touch with professors that are here still and ones that have retired. Um, this was, Susquehanna was chosen because I came as a junior in high school to a junior open house. And when I came for the senior open house, one of the professors from the accounting department actually remembered me. Every other place back then, they wanted your social security number. You got in touch with other universities that I applied to, they wanted your social security, who are you? Your social security number was your identifier. I came back to Susquehanna, one of the accounting professors walked up to me and said, oh, you know, hi, and knew my name and I thought, this is where I belong. So they really made an impression on you just right. by something that's seemingly so small. Right. I was a person. I wasn't a number. I had a name. I had a face. I didn't just have a number associated with me. So. That's always a great feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of activities were you involved in at SU? Um, while I was here, other than studies, I did uh, work study. And by doing that, I was the, an assistant to the accounting professors, which basically ended up I was tutoring. I could tutor any class that I already had. Mm -hmm. So I spent a lot of nights in Sigmund Weiss School, which was it's not was not an apple bomb then. Right. So, um, but I spent a lot of nights in that basement right outside Dr. Hobegger's <laughs> office tutoring. So I did a lot of that. Um, I also worked part-time at a department store, so that, that took my time. Okay. So, I mean, you, you've since come back, so I take it that you enjoyed your time here and... Yes, and I myself, uh, prior to my marriage and now since I am married, we like to give back to Susquehanna because Susquehanna gave me so much, not only my education, but for what Susquehanna cost when I came here, I only ended up paying 
what one year would cost for my three and a half years of education. So the benefactors back then, um, between grants and scholarships and that type thing, helped me. I would have never been able to pay even what it cost back then. But with that, um, I was able to help. So we like to give back now, it, even in small ways, like bringing a license plate topper and, and talking to someone about it. Oh, we appreciate it. <laughs> As a student, I can honestly say it is much appreciated um, in any way, even bringing back a license plate topper, which to most people probably seems seemingly small. But right. I'm like, nope, I want to know everything about it. Right. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> oh, man. you So any, like, notable stories that you'd like to share? Oh, of the years here at Susquehanna? Yes. Um... Probably not ones that people want to hear on this. Um, I, gotta hear everything. <laughs> I, was, I was the year that Lambda Chi got thrown off campus and they destroyed what is now the Scholar's House. So that, of course, sticks out in my mind. Um, I guess my biggest thing is what has changed. Um, we used to swipe, shh, didn't say that. We used to swipe uh, lunch trays, which you now no longer use. Um, and ride them down the hill at West. There's no longer a hill at West because there's all sorts of buildings there, but that's where we used to sled ride. And it's very easy when you're, you know, you have your winter coat on to swipe a license or to swipe a lunch tray. And that's what we use the sleds. I mean, it was just fun stuff that nothing destructive. Innocent fun. It was innocent fun. We always took them back, but it was fun, you know, to do stuff like that. Um, but just the changes, I mean, I know it's been 20 plus years, but just to look around and say, oh my, that's where we used to this or we used to that, you know, like I lived my freshman year in mini dorm, okay. which now, I don't even know what they call it, unfortunately. Where was that? It is right beside where the new admissions house is going to be. It's much bigger now. Oh, and it used to be all North female. Hall. North Hall, that's it. Yes. Yes, I lived in North Hall. It used to be all female and the rooms were tiny and a little too close for that much girl stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. So, but, a lot uh, of femininity in one place. <laughs> yes. Exactly. But it, it was fun. We had a good time. Um, met people that are still friends today. So if you don't mind my asking, where else did you live on campus? I lived, freshman year was mini. Um, sophomore and junior, I lived in Reed. Okay. And the one semester I was here for senior year, I lived in West. And West Hall, like, as it is now, I mean, I know they've renovated it, but it was West, it was West Hall even then. Yes, up on the hill, troop up the hill to the... Yes. <laughs> yes. And I actually lived by myself because I was coming in just for uh, spring semester. Um, and at one point, couldn't tell you the exact point during the semester, I actually had um, what I refer to probably wrongly as an exchange student. They had people come in from Japan for like two weeks mm -hmm. and they housed them with people that were singles. Oh. So I had a girl in with me for about two weeks, just kind of, they had the experience and... How was that? It was neat. It was hard sometimes just because it's a different culture yes. and you don't know someone, but then again it would have been hard anyhow even if it was just another person from central Pennsylvania, here you go, you get a roommate for two weeks and then you're gone. Like, right. So. Makes it hard to adjust. Right. You have your routine and then suddenly someone's there and then they're gone. <laughs> right. So how did you hear about the History Harvest? I actually heard about it online. Um, I believe the first item I saw was on uh, an email that was sent out and then I did see it on the Facebook. So. And you just like thought of your license plate and you're like oh I have to bring that it actually sits in our kitchen window since it can't go on a vehicle we have it propped up against the kitchen window so it's in our kitchen every day all day I love that all year <laughs> that's so. my mom is the same way I, <laughs> she has more Susquehanna things than I do so right. I can well relate. there's some things that just kind of get like the yeah. afghan I have that's folded up in, you know in the linen closet that type thing this just just sits on the ledge in the kitchen so and that was like what came to mind first yes huh, it's there every day plus it has the old you know logo on it oh, that's so cool so you 
don't really know the origins of that license plate. I do not. I don't know what it's manufactured. And truthfully, up until about a year ago, I had never seen another one. And I just saw another one probably about six months ago over at the antique mall in Lewisburg and thought, oh, I should pick that up. And I thought, no, that's silly. I already have one. But then you guys did this and I thought, well, crap, I should have picked it up. I could have donated it and still had mine. <laughs> right. But I don't know if it's still there or not. I haven't been back, but the Roland Mills Antique Mall in Lewisburg had another one. And until that time for 20 plus years, I had never seen another one. So that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome.